time Halloween arrived, Harry was regretting his rash promise to go to the death day party. The rest of the school were happily anticipating the Halloween feast. The great hall had been decorated with the usual live bats. Hagrid's vast pumpkins had been carved into lanterns large enough for three men to sit in, and there were rumors that Dumbledore had booked a troop of dancing skeletons for the entertainment. A promise is a promise, Hermione reminded Harry bossily. You said you'd go to the death day party. So at seven o'clock, Harry, Ron, and Hermione walked straight past the doorway to the packed great hall, which was glittering invitingly with gold plates and candles, and directed their steps instead towards the dungeons. The passageway leading to near the Headless Dick's party had been lined with candles too, though the effect was far from cheerful. These are long, thin, jet black tapers, all burning bright blue, casting a dim, ghostly light over their own living faces. The temperature dropped with every step they took. As Harry shivered and drew his robes tightly around him, he heard what sounded like a thousand fingernails scraping an enormous blackboard. So I figured I'd start Halloween week off with the reading from Harry Potter's The Death Day Party. So this is a little bit. If you guys want to finish the chapter or read it in here, whatever. That was just my idea. I am also wearing Mickey Mouse ears for Halloween week. And so this week's theme is Halloween Past and Present. So this year is going to be my first year handing out candy and not going out getting candy myself. It's a little sad. But you guys have probably stopped for years. So, I am the youngest one, so. Um, I'm saying so a lot. But in the past, I have had some really awesome Halloween costumes. Um, like, oh, the pizza party. That was basically a giant slice of pizza that had party decorations all, around, all on me. Um, what else have I been? I was at Italian dinner. I was like, oh, Right, red and white cherry cloth with some spaghetti. That was when I was one. So, did it did it did. Um, I was a howling disaster. I had a clown wig on. I was wearing a tutu. Basically just randomly going into the costume box and yanking everything out. I was an ugly stepsister one year. I was a sandwich. I was never the one to go out and buy a bumblebee costume and go to that. I uh, I was unique. So base I had really weird costumes. Like the one year I was corn and my sister was popcorn and I was a snowman and she was a mitten. So we usually got stuff like that. Um I'm not really scared of ghosts or anything. I'm not sure if that falls under it, but I'm not. I don't believe in them. Um Hmm. What else is there? Like, Halloween isn't it's a, just a thing in my city. We haven't done our Dracula lanterns yet. So none of those are out because they rot. Um, that's pretty much... So, that's really about it. Last year, I was last for trick or treating and I was a pillow fight. I basically had two boxing gloves and I was a little just in a little and it was a uh, pill, uh, bed sheet but like a pillowcase it was actually really cute um I was about having pictures I'll stick it in the end but other than that I am wearing plaid pants for John Green because I was signing hypnosis and I'm wearing my geek shirt so that's about it for this week DFTBA